Hello everybody, uh, I'm streaming earlier than usual today and I'm a bit late, so <laughs> it's a bit of a weird time zone today. Uh, I'm streaming early today because I've got another call in an hour, so I'm going to try and wrap up here just before the hour so I can go into that call. Uh, so we've probably only got about 50 minutes available to us today, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and today I am going to actually try and do some, let's call it, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vanilla React is maybe a good uh, description. Um, I'm actually going to try and build a React app for my AMA plugin. Um, so I'm going to actually be working with the React docs today and doing all these kinds of things and then using the React app to connect to the REST API endpoints that I have um, to post the form submission. Um, now, last week, if I remember correctly, I built myself a block. Yes, I did. I built myself a block and the block works. I haven't actually touched this code since last week, so it's, it might take me a while to remember how all these things work. Um, but I was still loading the, the JavaScript on the front end to handle uh, submitting the data, uh, and the block just basically popped down on a postal page. Um, so just to remind myself <laughs> how all this works, um, I think I have an AMA post. Yes, there it is. There's the block. And then if I disable full screen mode and open in a new tab, then I can test this. This is a question. And it, it looks, I mean, I'll be honest, it looks awful. Um, okay, question's been posted. So let's see the list of questions. Okay, so that all still works. Yay. <laughs> all right. Um, so what I remember about working with React is that we talk about a simple HTML page with script tags, and then they talk about there's a create React app command that you can do. Um, so I think I'm just going to grab what I have here um, and I'm going to I'm going to follow these things and I'm just going to create a simple HTML page in my plugin for now. Um, I, don't, I, uh, I don't really want to do that though because what I want to do is I want to use JSX which means I want to have things set up and all of those things. Um, I want to use this create react, create react, create react, react app. I can't say react. So this is what I want to use. This is very similar to what I'm used to with create block. Um, so what I'm going to do do is I'm going to create this as a folder in my WordPress site just for the sake of playing around with it and testing it and getting it to work. So in here I'm going to create a directory and call it AMA. No, I'm not going to create a directory and call it AMA because this will do it for me. So I'm going to do this inside my terminal. So let me think about this here. Um, it's in the WordPress site. And the eventual goal will be to take this app and make it part of the plugin so that it can render somewhere. But for now, I just want to get it working as a, as a folder. Um, and then I might come back to this later and make it make it happy that way. But for now, the goal is just to get it working using the REST API. Um, so let's just call it Ask Me Anything. There we go. And that's going to do a whole bunch of installation things. Um, and then we'll run npm start. And that'll keep the watcher going. 
the other reason I want to do this is because I want to be able to include Axios in the React build um, via via npm. So it's going to be a case of npm is all Axios. So we'll be using that later, and then I'll import it and I'll use it in the code and all that. And then I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to package it together somehow with a plugin, but I'll get to that. That's not for today. Today, I just want to make the app work. Um, and I probably should have done this before the stream because this could take a while. Um, but anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. What I probably will be able to do. So let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Is I'm probably going to be able to actually use some of the JSX from no, not that one. From from here, um, using using this, uh, which is going to be fun. So I'll keep that handy because that'll give me the forms and things. Um, and the CSS I'll probably go inline on the app. Um, okay, this is installing things, doing things. Um, funny enough, this is one of the one of the areas where I do tend to agree with folks who complain about the what do they what do, what do React call it? They call it the uh, tool chain. <laughs> um, So, so using this create React app, React app tool chain has to install a whole bunch of things and do a bunch of things. Um, takes a while to get there. Anyway, we are here now, so this is good. That was quick. Um, so according to this, we can now switch into the folder and say npm start. So let's do that. Ask me anything. I feel like the music is loud today. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. There we go. Uh, normally I have that off. Off screen, doesn't matter. Just pop it over there. Okay, so let us npm start, and that's going to set up the dev server. And this wants to access my app browser, so I'll let it access my browser. And there's my app running, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Webbacks compiled, and there it is. Um, so let's have a look at that code. And so I should, yeah, I should see some things now. So there's my source, there's my public. Here is my index.html, which it generates for me. Um, so I want to just check something here. Website created using Create React app. Okay, so it imports CSS, it imports app from app, and this sets up app CSS logo, div class name app. So it looks like this auto generates the index file. I wonder. I wonder if. Let's see something there quickly. So it doesn't look like this actually generates any. I wonder how that works. Okay. Uh, so if we want to make a change, it looks like it's going to be in app.js. Yes. All right. Um, Edit source app.js and save to reload. Yeah, okay. App.js. Class name app, app header. This we can all just leave. Uh, I'm going to take out the image and just see what happens when I take out the image. It's going to rebuild things. What's interesting is 
privacy. It doesn't. I wonder how it works. Where is, where's the build? Oh, because it's doing library load. So let's get okay, it to a build. So let's do that and let's go npm run build. And there we go. Okay. So that's kind of more what I'm used to. And there's our build folder. There we go. Okay, so there's our build index. I'm just going to. Okay, there we go. And it loads static JS main, various other things. Why is this all selected? Okay, so that's what the build looks like. So that's cool. So that's something that WordPress does automatically every time you run. It builds it so that you can load it in WordPress. Whereas the React way, it has it um, running like from the JSX. It does some cool things. It does like, I think it like transpiles it on the fly or something like that. Um, okay, so that tells us where we are. So let's start this up again. And that's looking good. Okay, so I'm going to take some things out. I'm going to take learn react out. Uh, I'll leave the class names as they are. I don't care about that. And then I'm going to take my form. And I'm going to pop that straight in my app.js just for the sake of being fun. There. Uh, I'm not going to worry about these attributes yet. So let's let's see what the attributes were there. Uh, please ask your question. It's the first one. So let's just leave that as please ask your question. Let's take that out. So there's the form. Okay, that's looking good. Um, I'm actually going to pop this after the header. And see what that looks like. <laughs> it doesn't look like anything. Um, okay, let's see what's wondering. So that's definitely there, and the form's definitely there. I wonder if it needs to be inside that header because of the way the CSS is. I bet you it does. So let's do that. Okay, well, there we go. Um, it's probably the way the app header is coded or whatever. Um, I mean, we could just we could just do this. We could just do let's see what the app app logo we could take out all this kind of stuff. So we could take all that out and keep this very simple. Um I wonder if that's Okay, and let's see what that does. Oh, there we go. That's going to be super simple. Um, so what we could do now is we could style the app or something. I don't know why I'm refreshing this. <laughs> um, but I'll leave it like that for now. That's fine. Okay, so that works. So now I want to include access. So um, I don't know why my Slack is open. Move it over here. So that's when I don't prepare for these things properly. Um, right. So now I want to install Axios so that I can use it. So let's, I should be able to, new tab, yeah. and I should be able to do that while the server's running. So this is something you'll do a lot if you're developing with React, uh, is you'll have one running with it running, one terminal open with, with uh, the web server running, and the other one will install things. Access is installed. Okay, that's cool. So now I should be able to import it. Um, and I can just do it like this so that that'll allow me to reuse this code. Um, 
price axis there because yeah okay so i'm just going to do it this way so i should be able to do that i don't need the logo anymore abscesses can stay there i don't maybe we'll just do some styling on it um let's do some styling let's Let's take the app class and let's um, go. What was what was it? Let's have a look at what it was. Maybe there's something useful there. Okay, let's leave that. Let's take out the logo. Let's take out the logo. Uh, let's take out the background color. stay like that a blink can come out a logo spin can come out let's see what that does app header um, okay so let's just go let's leave the header there I'm a big fan of reusing stuff okay mm, that doesn't look great but I guess we can, so this is going to be color white. So we'll take that color out. Let's take the color out. Let's take the color out and let's take the font size down. But yeah, that's better. And then let's, I love, da, 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 da. Um, Line item center, justify content center, text selection column. It's going to be a line item. So let's say left. Why am I refreshing? <laughs> okay, left isn't an option. What other options are there? Let's take all that out. That doesn't look brilliant. I don't know Flexbox very well, so. That's cool if you hover over it, it shows you where it's going to be. Um, if you stretch it, it doesn't do anything. I wonder if that's because of the width. That moves that there. I wonder if we take that away. Kind of better. Anyway, not going to worry too much about it. Um, it'll work for now. Okay. So, uh, maybe use gap. <laughs> yeah, hey Luke. I know sweet nothing about um, about Flexbox, and that's I don't want to get I don't want to get stuck in that path. <laughs> It'll take me forever. Um, okay, so let's import Axios. Uh, I can always clean that up later. Um, so let's do that. Yeah, what am I doing? Why is my control copy not weak? Thank you. There we go. So now 
I should be able to post a question. I'm going to need to get the application key. Um, now that's where it's going to get interesting because the moment I don't, I don't yet have a way to set up that, that application cookie. So what I'm going to do in the plugin for now, just for today, is I'm going to update the, uh, where was it? Um, oh, this is a, uh, I didn't think about this. I'm going to, what am I going to do? I've forgotten what I was going to do. There's a way that I can set this up so that anybody can post it. For the life of me today, I cannot remember how. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to hard code the username and password locally and we'll do that. I'll do that like that today. Anyway, okay. Um, so, I should be able to use most of this. Um, so, let's put that in over there. So, that's not going to exist. So, that's a response element title, blah, blah, blah. And then I just want to log that to make sure that I'm happy with it and I'll do it in a content and email email there we go And then from there, I'm just going to return just for now, because I want to see if that all works. If I post the question, uh, I'm going to need to trigger the button. So it's going to be something like this. This should work, theoretically. Um, because those are the IDs and things. So this should all just work. What I'm going to just do is comment this out for now. Okay. And I've got Axios. And there it is. I kind of need it yet, but it's there. Okay. Let's see if this ran fine. Okay, that got an error. Red background is not defined. All right. Oh, uh, right. I need those. So I'm just defining them there. I have to say, one of my favorite things I like about using Webpack is seeing your errors before you run your code. <laughs> um, obviously, it's not static analysis, but it shows that there's an error. So that that I like. You know, if I was if I was coding in PHP, I'd probably run that, and then I'd see a problem. So that I do like. I'll be honest. Um, okay, so here we are. So let's see if that works. Okay, red background is not defined. I may need to reload this. Okay, so submit doesn't seem to do anything, which is fine. Um, warning, logo, Axios, green background. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's see. post question let's see if post question is actually getting yes we're going to use console log folks a lot I use this a lot when i'm just messing around um, usually i have um, the php storm javascript debugger enabled but for today i'm just i'm just doing it this way um, now i can't tell Okay, so the first question was called. Oh, it's actually giving me an error. <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, so let's go John, email, and question. Yay, that works. Alrighty. 
Um, so that's cool. So that's pretty much the code that I'd written for the plugin already, and that all works, and that's nice. And that's one of the things I like about React is I can use my my clunky old school JavaScript, uh, and it still works. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave that there, and then I am going to so. If you have been following these sessions, you'll know that I've been using this cookie and I've been base64 encoding the user and password and blah, 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 blah. So I'm literally just going to do that to get the application locally, and then I'll figure out how I'm going to do that later. But I just want to see if I can get this working today because I have limited time. Um, so for the purposes of that, I am going to ignore my phone beeping at me. And I have... If you're wondering what I'm doing here, I have this weird like local multi-pass development environment set up. So I'm SSHing into that virtual server. Um, and then I can go into the site in question and I can run WP shell, which is a WPCLI command, which allows me to run code in the scope of the WordPress instance. So I can take any code and I can use it. And I can just run this. Uh, and this will give me the the application, which is exactly what I want. So it's exactly the server here. Uh, in case you're wondering, this username and password is a local username and password. It doesn't exist anywhere online. Um, so feel free to use it, but it's just on my local site. You won't be able to use it anyway. Uh, that's why I don't mind sharing it in live stream. It's my biggest concern about live streaming is, is sharing something that shouldn't be shared. Um, so we're just going to set up this application key for now in the app and i'm literally just going to hard code that key for now um and then i will figure out later how i'm going to put the key in the cookie and all of that nonsense so that's that so now this should work uh, i should be able to just post the same content with the same authorization key and all that stuff that i did earlier um, it should all just work which if it does is really cool um so, okay, clear form is not defined. So that's probably because I don't have the clear form function. So let's get that one. Uh, let's pop it up over there. There we go. And it's, okay, no warnings there. I like that little warning. That was actually quite cool. I've never seen that before. Um, if you if you have an error, it actually shows the error in the, in the library load in the browser. That's really cool. Um, never, I've never seen that before. I've always just checked here, but that's actually nice that it, that it pops it up here for you. That's probably because of the way things are set up, but I'm not going to worry too much about how that works for now. Um, so let's just go back a step and add the clear form. Here we go. And that's done. And that's done. And I'm just going to reload this so we've got a clear screen. So let's test. So please ask a question. Okay, something is not quite doing what it should be. Should give me an error. Um, I should also see a console log. Maybe it just needs a refresh. Hmm. Logo is defined, but never used. Well, let's take out logo because we don't need that. And that'll force it to recompile. Happiness. Let's test. Okay. Please fill out all the fields. That's cool. Um, so let's go react. Uh, user at react.com. This is a question. And let's submit that. Okay. Four are not found. Oh, it's because it's running off localhost. Okay. So now this is a slight change we need to make. We need to hard code in the URL, which is fine. Uh, no, it's WordPress that I'm working on. So this I'm probably going to have to fix later once I figure out how to package it in the sites in question. So that's cool there. That's compiled. Okay. Uh, I wonder what happens if I just. Yeah, I should get an error. So I do need to refresh. It's so weird how when I refresh the button click seems to break. I wonder why that is. Oh, 
I'll just do a hard reload and test things. It's so weird. I wonder if that's some kind of bug or something. Anyway, could be the way I'm coding. Anything's possible. Um, anything is possible at all. Okay, that's better. So let's go react. React at react.com. This is a question. Um, okay, so something. Oh, the question has been posted. Yay! So let's check that. Uh, let's do a refresh here. Woo! -hoo! So it looks like it posted the other one as well, or it's posted twice. Hmm. Okay, well, let's trash these and check. So let's do it one more time. So it looks like this is working. So name react. React at react.com. This is my question. Maybe I clicked the button twice. Possible. Okay, I didn't. Okay, so that looks like that's worked. Yeah, it looks like it is working. That's pretty cool. Um, now, what would be better is if that your question has been posted. Hmm. I suppose it doesn't matter. If we could do that and that fill out all the fields, okay. So let's go react to react to at react.com. This is a question. Submit. Cool. Probably we should change that message to something so it's more obvious that it refreshes or changes or something. But I mean that's that's not the point of today's uh, fun and games. <laughs> So there we go, it is working. Um, so this is a completely set, well, completely standalone. It still requires me to hard code the application key, which I'm going to need to figure out. Um, I was hoping to be able to inject some PHP into the, so run this off an index.php file and then inject some PHP in there so that it wasn't public. Um, so I don't know, I'm going to figure that one out. Uh, I mean, there's a few ways I could do it. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one for a little bit. Um, but it works. It works as a standalone React app. I'm using functionally the same code that I used in my plugin. I'm using the same HTML that I used in my block. Um, it all just works. So that's that. Um, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be, I'll be honest. <laughs> I like have extra time now, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And part of me wants to play around with the styling because this just looks terrible. Um, but it works. Uh, so what we can do now, so let's run a build. Um, and I mean, what I theoretically could do, I wonder if that works. Okay, so that's going to create a build, which I then should be able to access at WordPress.test ask me anything. So maybe that's what I can do today. Ask me anything. No. <laughs> uh, what did I call it? Yeah, it was ask me anything. I wonder. Oh, that's giving me an issue. I wonder if it's a WordPress thing. Could be like an HT access rule or something. Uh, so let's just grab that. It could be. Let's just try and directly access the index.html. Okay, so that's probably a WordPress thing. So I'm probably going to have to set up. Um, a HT access rule to exclude certain things. Um, let's see if I can find that answer quickly on the internet. WordPress HT access exclude directory.
Probably stack overflow. This might be it. So let's have a look. Uh, why is my phone beeping at me? So I'm going to guess this would be ask me anything. Um, I don't need the all because of that. So let's see if that works. Well, that was a problem I didn't think I'd have to deal with today. <laughs> uh, how likely to follow the wrong WordPress permalinks? So site ground. Change the bold line to no, that's not what I want. To exclude the subfolders. Here we go. Oh, okay. So we just change this. All right. And take this out. So apparently it's that. But that'll be all subfolders. Let's see if that's true. No, it's still giving me some kind of error. That's not what I want. I ignore a subdirectory. This looks like the same, same change. But let's see. Oh, that's kind of different. Where's that authorization rule coming from? I don't think I put that there. I wonder if that's a new thing. Oh, that's probably because of the REST API. Hmm. Interesting. If I take that out, what does that mean? Okay, well, let's leave it in. Let's see what happens. No, that didn't get it to work. Am I even in the right site? Yes. Oh. Oh, index.html dummy. Um, Haha, uh -huh. stupid. <laughs> now what's interesting is that now things are not going to work because they're not going to find things. How do you fix that? I wonder. Hmm. Now this is pointing towards paths that aren't there. Okay, I wonder if there's a React way to do that. 
mean, this shouldn't be necessary because you wouldn't. Base your alt to map. React. Base your alt. More problems. It's not necessarily meant to be run from. I wonder if you could. Mm. And then when it gets deployed, it's supposed to be deployed. The bold folder is supposed to be deployed as is. Um, so what we could do is create a local test domain and deploy the bold folder there. That would work. Let me do that quickly. Um, so I have this thing where I can just set up sites. Uh, let's call it... AMA. Okay. And then let's uh, go to my sites and go to WordPress and go to Ask Me Anything and go to Bold. And let's copy this out of there and into AMA. And now if we go to AMA.test, that should work. And now if we go to AMA test, AMA test at gmail uh, at email.com. And if we say this is a test from the stand alone react app and hit submit it's either not going to work or it's going to fail quietly in the background or who knows what's going to happen that hasn't worked at all i don't know why that is um doesn't even give me any errors okay well let's see if we can get the let's see if post question does something those questions are defined you sure about that Interesting. There's probably some special way that React stuff needs to be. I've, I've, had, I've had this before. There's probably some special way that React needs to be deployed or something. Um, sort of. Visit to your site of serve and request a static pass or serve with the contents of that production bold section.
that you can't specify a home page. Okay, well, that's not going down a whole deep rabbit hole of how to deploy a React app, and I'm going to have to figure that out some other time. Um, I thought you could just upload the files and it would work. It seems that the index.html works. Um, but beyond that, this is not working for some reason. Static JS main. Static JS main D three four DC one. I mean, this should just should just work. I don't know why it doesn't. Refresh here and see there's no errors. This is where my knowledge of React is limited. Okay, well that's getting too deep in the weeds of deployment than what I want to handle today. Um, I at least know that the app works in development. <laughs> the next step is going to be figuring out how this thing works when I want to actually deploy it. I thought I could just deploy this, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, just want to see. Yeah, there's no. There's this public. That's something else. So I don't know. I honestly don't know how this works. Um, I run bold. Did I, did I copy the right stuff over? Maybe I didn't. Pretty sure I did. I really thought you could just 
copy it and it would work. I guess the answer to that is it won't. Um, so that will work, but everything else seems to be broken. So there's probably some routing that I need to install or something. I don't know. Um, what's interesting is that it has this happening, which I don't quite understand. Um, I'm going to have to read about how to deploy this to just a regular server because that's all I want to be able to do. It looks like it, I need to create this in the public folder and then run both. Okay, let's try that. Let's create an HD access file in the public folder. New file, I've got a few minutes left. HD access. And let's stick this in there. Okay, and then let's run the bold, and let's clear out the AMA code. That's creating the bold, good. So there's the updated bold, there's the HD access, okay. So let's go back to sites, WordPress, ask me anything bold. And, ugh. I can't see the dot files. Um, it's like a special keyboard combination. Command shift dot. Command shift dot. There we go. So let's grab those. Go there. And this will be the last time I try this. If it doesn't work, I'm going to give up and move on with my life. It does not seem to be working. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some research around how that works. Um, but I'm going to call it a day here. I've got another call now in a few minutes. So at least I got the, the, the app working in, in dev mode, I guess. It's a bit of a pity I couldn't get it to work in a production mode. But I'll do some reading around that, see how that works. Uh, and then try that. I'll probably do this tomorrow offline or something. Uh, or I might do another impromptu stream tomorrow um, once, I, once I figure out how that works. If you've enjoyed any of this, uh, cool. Uh, if it was boring, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect some of the hiccups I had today. Um, but yeah, once once all this code is, is working, I'll stick it up on the GitHub repo and folks can pull it apart and take it from there. Okay, let's meet for today. Cheerio.